Can you do? Can you do a magic trick? It's, I can. Yeah. Well, yeah you don't mean just to describe a trick? I could. I, <laughs> <laughs> Robert, well, a deck of cards has uh, high cards and low cards. Do you choose high or low? I choose high. Oh, <laughs> I knew it because I predicted high. <laughs> not Wait high. Not high enough. Apparently, what, 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 but you could have easily. Yeah, I could have. Uh, you could have. I'm just saying. I don't want to be a skeptic. Listen, you know, I have a childlike well, imagination, and I don't want to undermine <laughs> children who obviously love this show and watch it frequently. For Kelly, that would have been enough. She would have been. That like, would have been enough. <laughs> Mark of the high cards, 10, Jack, Queen, or King? Let's go Jack. Jack. Now, yes or no? Did we set anything up? We did not. We've never met. So, no? No. I predicted no. Ah, <laughs> unbelievable. Well Kelly played. Well played. You know, I got another triumph joke in my head. Hit it. So it's like you, you read my mind just now. Yeah. <laughs> Then why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn. I'm glad you're not having to bottle all these up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let them out. Sam. Yeah. Jack, there's clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Do you want club, heart, spade, or diamond? Hearts. Hearts. Okay, no more, no more silly stuff. All right. Said hearts. <laughs> Inside, right. there is a playing card. One card only. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show Sam. Sam, tell him. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, Robert said hi. Mark said Jack. Sam said heart. People, I got one card and one card only. The oh, Jack of no. Hearts. The Jack of Hearts. That is pretty oh, cool. My God. Come on. God. Let's try up say now. Did Kelly Clarkson blow you? I believe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Holy hell. Oh, man. Now, is it tough because you're a funny guy, a magician guy, a good looking guy? Go on. But you got to be clean. You're out in the world, the clean yeah. comedy world. That's a tough. People think, oh, magician, I can take my kids to this. Yes. For years, I would, before before Magic for Humans came out, I was touring comedy clubs. So I was doing clubs, so I didn't have to worry about kids. So people just assumed it's going to be, you know, for adults. And uh, and then when Magic for Humans came out, and when we made the show, we kind of, I didn't try to make it clean, you know, like my my head magic producer, co-EP magician, Stuart McLeod's here. Like we put some, you know, we had anal jokes in there. We oh, nice. Heroin jokes. We had like- It was on Nickelodeon. We did, we did, a, <laughs> we did a puppy play bit, you know, the guys who dress as puppies and, you know, For sniff each other's asses and stuff. And uh, <laughs> But but as long as it ended in a magic trick, people were like, oh, my kids enjoy this. So it, I, I kind of accrued this family audience. So now it's clean. Wow. And I don't mind it. No, and instead of selling two tickets, you might sell six. How, but it wasn't that. It wasn't like your act was super vulgar. It wasn't super vulgar. No, it was no. just a little adult. It was. It was a little adult. You're right. I like the idea though of doing a really filthy magician <laughs> act. I've never seen that. Right? Have you? Yeah. It was amazing. Jonathan was he kind of? Oh, no, yeah. he was filthy. Yeah, that's was, a he good. Was, example. Yeah. He was filthy. He was pretty yeah. filthy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He was. He was a funny dude. He was. A, I was. Yeah. Big fan he was of his. I liked him. Love him. You know, he would do. You know, a bit where he'd take out a big old like a uh, huge jug of coke and like a huge. Oh, really? Uh, and then it would just like, go away. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Store a gallon of coke. I mean, he would, he you know, hacking through his arm. He would tea. I mean, he his stuff wouldn't hold up today. He would. No. His assistant, he would put playing cards over her eyes and staple them to her face. Uh, yeah, pull up some amazing you know, kid stuff. Oh my god. He started as a street performer, I believe. Yeah. And uh, moved his way up, and I, I saw him on Comedy Central as like a ten year old. Me too. Love it. Tight. His, his Comedy Central special. How does tight. how does a good looking guy get into magic? I feel like you, you do. Ma a lot of magicians I meet, they're like doing it to meet women or something, right? But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, David Blaine. Right? It's kind of like the guitar. Good yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. David Blaine. But I it's a lot harder. A guy. Hey, he was a David like, Blaine is a yeah. He he's made a player magic sexy kind of. He was like a sexy. Mis he was right. dark and mysterious. He knew when to shut up. Most yeah, people yeah. Too much. He just does a trick and shuts up. Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite triumphs is okay. Oh, go ahead, sorry. No, no. Oh, watch this for just for laughs. Ah! <laughs> oh, that woke your ass up butt quick, didn't it? Ha! Huh? Look at a little heart you beat like a gerbil. <laughs> oh, God, I gotta get to the hospital. <laughs> You ever seen his documentary? Look at this mole on my. Right? It's wild. Really? It is yeah. wild. Didn't Steve do one? Back. 
Steve Byrne? Yeah. Steve Byrne. Yeah, did I think one. he did. And then Ben Berman did one. Mm. And I introduced Ben to, to Jonathan. Uh-huh. I told I told Ben about just that Jonathan had this kind of heart issue that came up. Oh, yeah. He was also regularly smoking crystal meth. You Whoa. Know? And Jonathan, you know, I think he, he liked telling the story that his doctor said his, his body couldn't handle quitting. So he just kind of was going to keep doing it. And Ben just was fascinated by this. Wow. Yeah. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. <laughs> He's dead. Rest I didn't know if he... But before. he lived for many, many more years and... Uh, oh, okay. So crystal meth is health. Is okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay if you're a magician. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> 